the rulers in the program are going to give us a really good amount of control over our lines. They're, they're really great. And they let us do things that uh, physical rulers would actually not even allow on, on paper. So let's check them out. If we don't have a new sheet of paper, just go up to File and New. And let's go to our rulers. They're down here, third from the top and from the bottom. And they're either going to look like this triangle ruler or one of the other tools that it might may be selected. But we're going to do the ruler. And let's start with the linear ruler. And basically it's going to put down a line that we can then draw upon. So I'm going to change to the pen. And you see that it'll make that line stay on here. If I try and pen over here, it'll just not connect to the ruler. But when I'm within the vicinity of the, vicinity of the ruler, it'll just lock it on there. And when I get to the end, it'll stop. It won't let me go beyond. So that is the linear ruler. And it created that, that ruler on the same layer. If I don't want it on the same layer, I can go to back to the, to the ruler and uncheck this so that when I do the ruler now, it creates a separate layer for it. And actually, if I put a few rulers down, they'll all be on the same layer. And if I try and do my pen now, it's going to only go to the one that I'm near. So it's not going to automatically jump to the other one or anything like that. And then ones that are out of reach of the ruler, like this seems to be like a confusing area for it because it, it won't let me right here, that area right here. So it's like, am I on the ruler? So if you ever don't want it to go to that, that area, you can just uh, turn it off for a second and work on a different layer, for example. I'm going to clear these, drag them down to the trash, and create a new layer that we're going to look at our curve ruler, which, like it sounds, is a curve. So it creates the points like the curve. And then when you're done, double click. And you could have sealed that if you want. So now you have this uh, curve that you can draw on. And again, it, it put it on the same layer because of this check mark. So I go to the pen now and it just, or the pencil for example, and it'll just stay within that area. The next ruler is the figure ruler. And this is just like it sounds, you can create a figure for example, the circle or the ellipse. And it has the same adjustments that we had before. And once it's created, we can then draw on it or paint on it or whatever. Pencil, you can use color and so on. And, and if you want to turn the ruler off when you're done with it, you can just go over the triangle and right click and click show ruler or unclick it and it'll be invisible. But it's still there if you need it again. There are some other things uh, that it can do we'll, that will become more clear as we go along. I'm going to delete this layer. And again, I actually just deleted the, uh, the ruler. If I want to clear this now, I can just go up here. All right, the next ruler is the ruler pen. And this is basically just a pen that we can make any shape, and then that will be our ruler. So if I go to the, uh, let's say, the spray now, and I drag it, it's going to stay on there. This crazy pattern. And I can, you know, I can darken it or go back over it. So this is very helpful. Use your rulers.